Praise Yahweh. All right, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh shine, Bahashim Rikah Kudash. Some honor to the head elders, the apostles, the bishops, and great millstone. Go on to you out from throughout the world. Shalom. We the, the Hebrew Israelites out here to prophesy. All right, the coming uh, destruction of Babylon the Great. Okay, and tell you of the prophecies that are going to happen beforehand. All right, and it's written here in the scriptures. Okay, right now we're in the we're in the process of time where the Most High, all right, is, has set up the so-called white man in his rulership. All right, and this is what he's off to do, and this is what's going to come to pass. All right, Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. Therefore, rejoice in heaven. Right, the scriptures say, therefore, rejoice in heaven. Lamentations four twenty one. Okay? Because who is to rejoice? Those that are in power. Those that are in rulership. Yeah. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So now we got the understanding of who the Lord is speaking to. Right? The Lord is speaking to who? The Edomites. He told it. He said it right here in Lamentations. And he's reiterating here in Revelation. These Edomites are to rejoice. Why? Because they have the power. They have the, the rulership of the earth. Read on. Rejoice and be glad, O Lord of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Ud. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Ah, it says the cup also shall pass through unto thee. What is this cup? This cup is called retribution. This cup is called recompense. For what? Robbery, rape, and murder of the Israelites. The stealing of the world's resources. The numerous atrocities that were committed by your nation against the Israelites. That's the cup, the cup of slavery. The cup of re retribution. The cup of payback, Read the recompense. Read. It says, thou shalt be drunk and shalt make thyself naked. See, and this is the time, this is what is coming to pass in the earth. This is what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has revealed unto us. Through the what? Through the prophecies, through the scriptures. All right, so let's go back to Revelation 12. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Re Therefore rejoice in heaven. So now you know who is to rejoice. Through the Most High, through His Son Yahweh Shai, told to rejoice. The Edomites. And what are they doing right now in the earth? They're setting up a world economic forum a World Health Organization, a fourth industrial revolution to bring about what? All right? A system where you have to rely on them, all right, through digital means. It's going to bring about, all right, a CBDC, a central bank digital currency, where you're going to have to what? Take a mark in order to buy and sell, in order to live, in order to be in society. See? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Right? This is the so-called white man's plan. Right. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And then the next line says, Whoa, brother. So they had to rejoice, but the Lord is going to bring woe within their rejoicing. Because their rejoicing is not anything righteous. Their rejoicing is based off of wickedness. Their rejoicing is based off of rebellion against the Most High. Their rejoicing is based off of robbery, rape, and murder, and treachery upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Especially you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? So the Lord said woe is coming. Destruction is coming. Right. right. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. For the what? For the devil has come down unto you. And then it said, for the devil has come down unto you. So you devils who are the so-called white race, the so-called white people, you are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And what? When this when, when you have this thing 
coming to pass and you're about to fill your belly, all right, it's going to bring about what? It's going to bring about wrath. It's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be a time of uh, calamity, martial law, great life, famine, plague, right? The devil, it's his job to bring us about. He's coming down unto you having what? Great wrath. See? What is the wrath that he's going to come with? He's going to come with his martial law troops. He's going to come with his interpol, his interpolice, international police. He's going to come with the ultimatum that you got to take a micro C hip in order to live, in order to function in society, in his society. See? See? Having great wrath because he knows he hath but a short time. Having great wrath because he knows that he hath but a what? A short time. Go to Revelation. Uh, Joel, the 20th chapter, it tells you, Know it now, know it not thou this of old, this man was placed on the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. Okay? So we got the understanding on that, man. And we bring it out through the Spirit. Empower your how by Shemal Shai to let you know because what? There's going to be no cloak for sin in the day of judgment. You ain't going to be able to say, I didn't know, I wasn't told. It was not thoroughly explained and broken down according to as it is written. You see? Read on. That was it? This is uh, Joel, Joel chapter 20, verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old? Mm -hmm. This man was placed upon earth, yeah. and the triumphing of the wicked is short, <laughs> and the joy of the significant, but for a moment. So the triumphing of the wicked is short. Who is the wicked? Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 tells us that the wicked is Esau Edom. And uh, you know, which in the Hebrew is Yah, which means power or strength, the earth has been given into for a season according to the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24 and the same chapter that we're reading right now here in Job 28 chapter so the reason to say knowest thou not this of old so this is known of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment and he saw you know is the ultimate hypocrite. It says in the book of Proverbs, the 11th chapter, that a hypocrite in his mouth is destroy his neighbor. Because this man is a false painter, he is a false actor. The scripture says, and if you do it good, you do it with unwillingly, and at the last you shall be clear his wickedness. Because he is a hypocrite. He is the wicked. It says, those excellency are up to the heavens, kingdom and his head which onto the clouds through what through satellites space force okay it says yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he so he saw him he's gonna perish like his own dung when the lord destroys his kingdom utterly and plays him in slavery under the nation of Israel to Isaiah the 14th chapter when the nation says this the man okay because it states right here and what there was excellency all up to the heavens and his head which unto the clouds yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he so where is the foolish and when they do realize that this is the one I know was that was the known them they're going to say, is this the man that had such uh, uh, a great kingdom over it? This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. He says, Woe to them that devise iniquity to work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. And it being in the power of their hand, that power was given to them. As Brother quoted in Job 9 24, earth was given into the hand of the wicked. 
So what's the Lord's purpose for Esau Edom to be the sword? And for him to come down with that great wrath that we're speaking about in Revelation 12 chapter. Okay? So upon his bed, he does nothing but practice this iniquity. He was created to bring this wrath. He was created to bring this in Revelation the sixth chapter said it was that he created to take peace from the earth. Most I allowed you saw he, he set him up on um, the red horse, and it was given unto him to take peace from the earth. So everything brothers are saying is absolutely true and on point. The devil's job and his objective is to come down with that wrath because you know that you have a short time. You know, rejoice because you know that you got a short time. Rejoice in it like you said his wickedness and so on and so forth. Now it's time for these Edomites to live it up. And as we see, you know, putting the pieces together, they make, they move it. They move, they all move it. It's just, it's just don't have a clue. The second chapter says what? Though it tarry, wait for it. It will not tarry. So really it's not tarry. And everything is happening accordingly as the Heavenly Father wants it to. But this thing is also strategic. Like chess, right? Brothers who know how to play chess, it's a very strategic game. It's a thinking man's game. You don't just move like checkers and you know where it's just open opportunity, you gotta wait. You gotta wait for that moment to strike, and that's what these devils are doing. But the Lord got them in that in that uh seat, that position, that power to make that move. His sword. To your point. In chess, you always gotta move a couple steps ahead. You gotta think a couple steps ahead. Exactly. And that's the mind frame that you saw here. Right? He always uh, uh, implements that problem reaction solution theory. So when, when things happen, he's thinking a few steps ahead of everybody. So when, so when it happens, he knows how you'll react and don't have the solution wait. That's why the scripture says they sleep not. Except well, lift your voice up, bro. Right, that's what the scripture says they, they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Right. And the sleep is taken away unless they call something to fall. Because these devils are like serpents. A serpent is a very prudent uh, species of animal. Okay? They're very patient. So these devils, they study our people. So they know when to do certain things and when not to do when to hold back and when to strike. The circles of uh, is, uh, being intelligent. Alright? Which is what is all this way. When you are in the game of chess, you gotta think ahead. So that's the attributes of the circle. They know what their moves are gonna be before they make them. Right? Because that's the type of, you know, uh, 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 characteristics that the Most High gave the serpent. Right. Showing us that this is what, let's get Revelation again, that old serpent. Yeah. Right? Uh, spirit. When we talk about serpents, we might as well be skipping. Uh, I think it's the 12th of the law here. That old serpent. Oh, that's which is that old serpent called the Because that's who these Edomites are. Right. They're, the, they're the descendants of that old serpent. In the meantime, go ahead. Let me finish on Micah. Mike, Micah chapter 2 and 2. It says that they come in fields and they take them by violence and houses take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. <clears throat> so that's a part of his characteristic. To take, 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 take. That's a part of his characteristic. Alright? To take and, and to not be uh, remorseful about it. Alright? He saw Edo don't care about a damn thing. He just cared, he just cares about uh, uh, bringing destruction. That's it. That's where his mind frame lies. To be destruction, to, to be destructive of every. You look at the earth now, where where it was to where it is now. That's a product of Esau Edom rulership. Yeah, You know what I mean? Everything is destroyed because of this man. Revelation chapter twelve, verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out. That old oh, serpent said the great dragon was cast out. Cast out of what? Get uh, Psalm 119, 155. All right? 
lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one horse of the sold his birthright, all right? Yeah. And saw it carefully with tears. Right? Got that real quick out? Because he said he was passed out. Passed out of what? This is what he was passed out from being a product or a descendant of the old serpent and then Cain. <clears throat> 119, 155. This is Psalm 119, chapter 155. Salvation is far from the wicked. Okay, so he was cast out of what, bro? Salvation. He was cast out from having salvation. Okay? Salvation of what? Salvation of Yahweh by Trinity Hour God. The birthright. See, that's what he was cast out from. Read Genesis again. Alright? Read the story of Cain and Abel again. If you don't have the understanding on that, more will it be made clear to you. This is what he was cast out. Alright? He wasn't like like the like the crackhead Christians say. He wasn't cast out of heaven down to earth with a bunch of other damn uh demons or angels turned demons, turned you know defilates, and then uh in rebellion of the most against the most high to establish their own dominion on earth. Nah man. That's fairy tale. That's folklore. That's, if you recall it, it's really stupid if you, but it's commonly devised fables. Because they don't have the understanding in real time. Right? So he was cast out from what? Salvation. It's what? Read that again. It says salvation is far from the wicked. Hey, see? Hey, you understand that? Salvation is far from the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the who? Of the who? The wicked. That's who's in power right now. That's who's rejoicing right now. That's who has the dominion right now. That's the one, the old serpent is gonna be the one to bring the past. What's written here? What's about to what's about to happen? What's about to happen is a bunch of judgment and wrath going forth from the seed of my time. Because he's the son of perdition. All right? He's the son of perdition. He's the man of sin. Right. So that's how he was cast out, brother. Right. You think Go back to that. Uh, it might be too windy. Back in Revelation chapter 12. Back to windy. Verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. And Satan, and that great dragon entails the ancient Roman Empire. Who had control of the ancient Roman Empire? You sure? Huh? Okay. Go ahead. He says, which deceiveth the whole world. Which what? Which deceiveth the whole world. But that's the devil right there. That's why you got in these, uh, when we were brought to been, been, uh, been being taught that God is a so-called white man, all right, his son is a so-called white man. He is the Jews. But if you're the Jews, where are the rest of the tribes at? Where are the other tribes at? Hmm? You see, the whole world. You got a uh, thing called the Renaissance era. They had a thing called iconoclasm. Right? And what they did was they defaced all of the dark images of me medieval Europe which were ruled by so-called black people, okay? So that's how they deceived the world. And now even more so, they got the whole world thinking that they're God. They got the whole world, they got the whole world thinking that, you know, that they're actually the righteous people of, 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 of the divine deity, man. Right? There's a covering cast over all people. There's a covering. When you cover something, you, you uh, put something over something that's supposed to be exposed. Take, take something and you put something over something, all right, that was already exposed, that was already there. So when you cover something, all right, you're doing the act, all right, of pretty much receiving. And this is what's been happening in the earth, man. That's why you got something, these, these people out here calling themselves what? They're calling themselves Chinese, Japanese, 
There's no biblical nationalities on this earth anymore. Because the so-called white man done took all of the nationalities and turned them into something else. You see? But he's going to destroy in this mountain. What is this mountain? America. Okay? The main continent where the so-called white man rules. See? He says, and he will destroy. This is Isaiah chapter 25 says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. That's it, brother. You got to go speak on it, brother. Yeah. Now that we know who the devil is, now we become the enemy. Now the so-called white man, oh, you get a devil the Bible speaks about. Now we're the enemy now. Even, even from our own people. But to hell with this world, to hell with our people, to hell with every nation, to hell with this country, it's so evil. Because why? Because it's something called, I was looking at the, at the number of brothers they got a deal to it. It's called um, Looking Glass, Project Looking Glass, man. All right, you saw Edom know that there's no hope for them. Now what Project Looking Glass is, the world gave these devils the technology, all right, to see, to, to, to see a little bit, to see the, um, the past and the future, but they just, they just can't go and look at it. They got to um, intricately look at each piece and just pick it out. So when they went to the future, all right, they realized that they didn't both of their safe because even those beyond didn't know, but they realized that they were going to captivity and they were going to get exterminated. So they were hiring different intelligent Edomites all right, to see if they can change. Is there any way with, with the with the D-Wave computer? All right, with some quantum computer to figure out if they can change uh, the fate of their um, of, 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 of themselves, man. And they eventually gave up on it because no matter which way you turn, no matter how whatever action is taking place, no matter what, it comes a point to where everything always happens the way it should be. Man. Yeah. And this is what. Uh, no, no, I'll finish with you. Yeah, yeah. And this is what they going to come down with great wrath. Yep. This is why, because look, if they can't get to the Lord, they can't get to the Son, who else are going to come to? They're going to come to His children, because they I'm know what we're going to become. They know it's exactly what we're going to become, man. Yeah? And they know that we're, we're the true sovereigns of this earth and this planet, right. Right. and these right. galaxies, man. Yeah? And, yeah. and the great awakening that they're talking about, the great awakening is talking about this place, man. Yep. 144,000 or one-third. That's what they're scared. That's why they're making 
and androids and they can terminate it. Super soldiers, machines, technology. So they have enough time to fight the Lord and his elect, man. Just like the dude said, it's like the test master versus the test master. You have seven moves left. And they know that they know that if there's seven moves, the game is over. So all they're trying to do now is to delay, delay time, but they don't have that much time. Yeah, no, nah, just to add to, because you sent the video in the chat. So in other words, no matter what scenario they play out, it all leads to one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like if you saw got the, the technology and the wisdom and the scripture gonna pinpoint exactly what he got. Oh, you got it, Isaiah 47, 11? The point is actually at like a 12 or 13, just to back up what you're saying. Because you saw it does have the knowledge on the left hand power to do certain things. Just like how we got the prophecy on the right hand side and we can foretell the future, right? We're fortune tellers. <laughs> we're fortune tellers, bro. Literally. Yes, on, the, on the right hand side, we're right fortune tellers. Do you have fortune tellers on the left? Yeah. You know, I, I then you got you so. got you got what you call um what do you call them shit? Um necromancy. Yes. They speak to the dead. There's, there's a case of necromancy in the scripture with the where, where the King Saul tried to reach out to um Samuel, right? So he went to a witch to and it actually happened. It actually happened. Why, why, that's just gonna get dead, bro. That's that the shit that yeah. Anyway, um, so it is, is that it actually happened, right? So necromancy is real. All that shit is real on the left hand side. So what you're saying about the project, look at the glass. Esau mapped out every single, let's say, let's say parallel, parallels on his future. And they all led to one destiny, which was his downfall. You know what I'm saying? There was no alternative route for Esau to find a new, a new world where he's going, like, like these cave people right here walking. You, you already know they eat mice. You already know they eat mice. So their future is already set in stone that they're going into captivity. So get that real quick, Isaiah 47, 11. Isaiah to the 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. Right, because evil is coming to Babylon the Great, America. Right now, yeah, you saw Edom, the top elites is orchestrating it. But at the end of the day, they're going to get caught up in their own snares and nets that they laid for the master. And that's what they understand. See, this thing is going to spiral out of control, bro. This chaos is going to spiral out of control because the Lord is going to allow it. To. That's why Job, a brother had put it up. Um, a brother had put it up, uh, Job 20, when he's about to fill his belly. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. It shall rain upon him while he is eating. He said, Shalom, Shalom back to you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So when he's about to fill his belly in the midst of his new world order, all right, while he's establishing all this thing, the Lord is going to let it rain missiles on him. World War III is going to ramp up. The enemies of Esau, Edom, of Babylon the Great, which are now their allies, which is leaving them, are all going to be turned up. And it's going to rain nuclear missiles on this man's kingdom. All right, read on. Right. And that's what these devils are seeing, no matter how they try to map out their future, it all leads to nuclear destruction. It all need, it all leads to it. And that's what the Lord is showing you, damn devil, man. And you said they're making bunkers too in the video? And, and that don't mean nothing. Yeah, they are making bunkers, dumps, deep underground military bases, but that's not gonna mean nothing. You know what that's gonna mean? That's gonna mean that we're gonna be allowed to come and pull you out of the holes of the rocks. But if you're on the shores of America and the missiles are shot you in a bunker, you, you pretty much put yourself in a microwave right. or, you know, in a, a, a pit or a, 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 a bonfire or something. You're going to melt. You're going to melt. That steel is going to melt on top of you. Right. You know? You know? Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. Right. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Right. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly. Suddenly. Key word is suddenly these things are going to come upon you. Desolation, misery, all right? Which is all perilous times, which are the times that we're approaching. All of that's coming. So you can look in your looking glass, you saw, and that's all you're going to see. What You don't even got to waste the money and resources to do that. We telling you right now, bro, save your money. Why are you so wasting all that money doing that when you can just turn on YouTube and go to GMS? Go to the Israelites, bro. You wasting mad money. Donate some of that money. We, we, we giving this to you for free. Donate that shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right? What? We can no. use the money, nigga. For real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking paying other, other dumbass Edomites to tell you what we've been telling you for free. Read on, bro. What? Thou shalt not know 
Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Stand now with Dine Enchantments. Right, so this is the point right here, bro. Stand now with Dine Enchantments. Alright, go ahead. And with the multitude of thy sources. And with the multitude of thy sources. Because that's what it all boils down to when he saw foreseeing this and seeing that angle and what he all of that is his stargaze, his his, his um witches, his magi, you know? The the monthly prognosticators and all that. That's them doing that. You know, they 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 specialize in that field. So they did. They, that's what they doing. You know, you wasting your time. You wasting, you know, get your rest. We're telling you, man. The brother brought it up. Rejoice and be glad. I like that. Yeah, read on. And with the multitude of thy sorcery. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, because that's how this man has gained control over this earth. Like you, like you brought out, the covering cast over the, all, all the earth. How do you, well, how was he able to put that covering cast over the earth? In other words, he used lies to block out the truth. All right, deception, lies. That's how he saw the serpent was able to get the one up to begin with in the garden. How, he was the first lie ever told was by the soap with the serpent. And the second lie was by who? Cain. What he said, uh, what he said about my brother's keep. I'm not I don't know. He said, I don't know. Even though you killed him, you lied and said I don't know where he at. You're a liar, you covetous, murderer, the water. You know, you everything, bro, from the beginning. And there's no different now. Never trust thine enemy. Like Nate, Nate talking about we don't hate the white man. We got to work with him. We got to get along with him, man. We, motherfucker, we hate the white man. That's right. That's crazy. All right, we hate him with a perfect God. hatred. Perfect hatred. You dummy. And we know that we got to work with the nigga. But that don't mean we got to go and tell him, yo, I hate you. You ain't going to tell your boss, I hate you. In your mind, you hate this nigga, but you don't love him. See, you, you misleading the flock, bro. We hate Esau. We hate all Edomites. Our bosses, co-workers, neighbors. We hate them. All right, and in due time, we gonna show how much we hate these motherfuckers, huh? man. We ain't gonna sit up here telling Israel not to hate the white man. Hate the white man, man. Hate the so-called white man. Hate him with a perfect hatred. We gonna have our time to display that hate that the Lord truly has for this devil. You know? We pretend to want to get along with this nigga because we gotta work with this nigga. Other than that, we hate this motherfucker. You no, know, we hate he fall off a scaffold or a building or some shit. You know? Or trip and fall in the machine room and get caught up in some generator. Yeah, bro, what you got real quick? Uh, Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Hey, don't I hate them that hate thee? Does not Esau hate the Heavenly Father? Of course he does. Right. All right? Of course he does. You know? This fool said in his heart, there's no God. There's no power. All right? He cursed the Most High. He despised his ways, like the scriptures say. He, 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 um, he put at not a none of his counsel. So we hate the so-called white man. We hate everybody that the most I hate. Even two-thirds. Yeah, bro. It says, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? Right, you saw, you know. We grieved at the devil, yeah. It says I hate them with perfect hatred. Perfect hatred, bro. There's no there's no um gray areas in the hatred that we have for you damn devil. There's no gray areas, bro. It's a, it's a perfect you know? hatred. It's perfect, it's perfect. There's no gray areas, bro. There's no, it's not, it's nothing to think about. Somebody asks you, do you hate the so-called white man? Do you hate the Edomites? Yes, the fuck I do. You know, do you want me to spell it for you? Y-E-S-K-A-N, nigga. You know, you hate the so-called white man. Yeah, bro. I count them my enemies. And I count them my enemies, man. We hate our enemies. So let's go back to Isaiah 11. I mean, um, 47. Isaiah to the 47, verse 4. Stand now with thine enchantments. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. Right, from thy youth, since the beginning. Because before these devils got over here, their whole slogan was, the new world. Yeah. The new world. The new world order is the old world order, really. It's been in the works for a long time. Right. How many centuries was that? 13, like seven, like almost 700 years. Right? Just yeah. about, from the yeah. 1300s to now, it's about 700 years. And 700. That's completion. Yeah. You know, that's completion. So from the 1300s to now, the 2000s, it's seven years, 700 years, so seven centuries. So this man is completed, bro. His time is completed. It's over for this devil. So from the, from the, from that youth, from the beginning, in the birth of Babylon the Great, this new world as we know it, 
Esau had been laboring in his multitude of his sorceries, his enchantments, his sacrificing to his um his god, Satan. Right? Yeah. Right. He's on the say, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. Right? If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. But Project Looking Glass, that's why I bring up the scripture that the brother brought up, that term, there's no alternative route to escaping your destiny whatsoever. No matter, like, like how you got um, the movies with different parallel universes, yeah. Like Flash, remember the movie Flash, Flashpoint? No matter what, 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 uh, what's the name Barry Allen did? He always ended up, his parents always ended up dead in any life, in any, in any alternative um, parallel universe. They, they always ended up dead. He always went back in time to try to change it. But no matter what he did and tweaked anything, they still ended up dead. And he made it worse. And he made things worse. You see? So, and then, you know what? And you know how that happened? Um, the particle accelerator, that, that, that. And he saw got that certain shit that he been that's fucking right. with, trying to play with, you know? But, man, that's all part of your witchcraft, sorcery, you know? Yeah. That's all part of that, yeah, bro. Yeah, just to, just to add on to that just real quick, I was to speak about the prognosticators, right? What the prognosticators do, they study the uh, constellations, and they do, they get, they get all into it, to where they can try to think, they can figure out, you know, what's going to be the end to try to create an alternative end to that, to try to prevent it. That's what the prognosticators do. For example, the witch calendar, the witch's calendar. They, they set that up for the main purpose to bring about their agenda on the left hand side to try to do away with righteousness and have themselves, you know what I'm saying, be the, the new eternal leaders of the universe. That's what prognosticators do. They, they study the, the, the stars and all of that, and the constellation, and they try to get, you know, the, the, uh, the divine understanding of how to, you know, get away from the inevitable, the inevitable uh, uh, conclusion, the inevitable end, all right, of, of, of what their, uh, their whole purpose is, man. Yep, that's right, bro. It says, if so be, Thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou be made as prevail. Right. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Right, thou weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Then I said earlier, why are you wasting your time and energy and restless sleep and study and resources and money? Trying to figure out, trying to, you know, paint these, like the brother brought out, the monthly prognosticators to study the constellation, which all, this is a lot of truth to that. All right, the alignments to the stars and all these. You know who was big on that? Um, um, it's, it was Issachar. Issachar was big on that. Yeah, Issachar was known for looking up at the stars and watching the alignments of the planets and stars and constellations or whatnot to determine certain things, the signs. Like the scriptures say that the stars, the moon, the sun was given for the signs, all right? And the signs and the times and the seasons. Now, the Mayans, all right, they had a calendar. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. The Mayans had a calendar when, where they said, what was it? 2012 would be the end of civilization, they say, right? But they wasn't that far off. Realistically speaking, they're not that far off. Because 2012, with that, we're 11 years past that. So if this man go down within the next year or two, whatever, they was only off by 13 years. But then again, you see, they had to be off on that because no man knows the time, the hour, or the day. So they had to be off on that. A little, even though, even if it's a little bit off, they had to be off. But you see, to the heavens, because of a, a thousand years to us, is the day to the Lord. So to the Lord, they probably just a couple minutes off. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not yet, not quite yet. But but to us, it's probably is a whole 13 years. You see? But that's the Mayans. That's that it's the call. That's that tribe that. That understand, yeah, yeah, bring it up, bro. Yeah, this is our first product. The water. Chapter 12, verse 33. And it says, And, the, and of the children of Issachar, uh -huh. which were men that had understanding of the times. Right, they had understanding of the times. Why? Because it was given to them. They didn't have to go to school for it, they had to study it. There weren't no astrological books. There weren't no newspapers where you go read your, you know, your, your, your zodiac. 
They knew this. The most I gave it to them, yeah. To know what Israel ought to do. Right. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Right. So they knew and understood the times via the sky, the heavens, the stars, the moon, the sun. Right. To know what Israel ought to do. Yeah. You see? Whether battle, war, things of that nature. But you see, we got that understanding on a certain level right now. You know, the Lord gave us some understanding as far as I'm talking about. The Lord said there's going to be signs in the sun, the moon, the stars, and the signs in the heavens. We're the only ones paying attention to that. So we have a little understanding, but the understanding that Israel had, no, we, we don't have it on that level. You see, but Esau, he got his monthly prognosticators and stargazers who align, you know, certain things when the planet alignments, they know certain energies and certain spirits are active, so they do certain things. They move on certain things. For example, well, I know this for sure. We all should know this. Like every full moon, the, the people are more active, active because of the high tides, right? The, the sea level, the sea level rises during the full moon, and we're made up of seventy plus percent water. So I, we're more active during the full moon. I know for myself, I don't sleep too well in the full moon. You know, I'm a little more fidgety. I'm more awake. You know, I'm more active. You know, and that's why people when they when they bugging out, we, you refer to them as a lunatic. That that comes that that goes back to them being active during a full moon. Oh, look at this lunatic. I mean, if it ain't a full moon, technically you can't call him a lunatic. You know, he's reactive based off of how the moon got him active. Women, women get they cycle based on the moon, the moon cycle. You know what I mean? If you if a woman get her period, a woman could you know correct me if I'm wrong, but on a full moon, if your period's on a full moon, it'd probably be more rushing. I got daughter, yeah, I got daughter, you know what I mean, and, and whatnot. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, it's more, it's more active in the body, you know. Energy levels, frequencies, spirits, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. I got something real quick. Yeah. This is Second Esther chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time." diligently in itself. Right, measure the time diligently in itself. And that's what we're doing. We're measuring the time, we're, you know. How do we measure the time? Observing, focusing on what's being brought out. News, all right, current events, real life issues, uh, geopolitical issues, things of that nature. Things that are happening globally. You measure it. And what do you use to measure? What's the measuring tool? When you measure something, you have the object that you measure, whether it's a wall, you want to measure a wall, or measure some bricks. That's the that's the object. But you need something to measure with. What do you measure with? The Bible. The scriptures. Alright, that's our measuring tool. So go ahead. It says, and when thou seest part of the sun pass, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, because the angels show Ezra some signs, prophecies, things that was going to happen. Things that was going to happen in the future. So for us, when we see these signs coming to pass, happening, these things happening worldwide, know that it's the same time where the highest, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh the Most High is going to send his son as an ambassador, all right, to visit this earth in which he made it. Who made it? Yahweh Shah made it. Based off the orders of Yahweh, the Father. Yeah? That was in um, Isaiah? Yeah. It says, Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators. Are they all the same thing? Astrology, study of the stars, the heavens, the space. You know? Showing you that this thing, this thing is this thing is old. Like you got Esau with the Hubble telescope and the other one that's that surpassed the Hubble telescope. That's all stargazing. What do you think they stargazing for? Because it looks pretty? Because the galaxies are so pretty and gorgeous and they're curious? No. They trying to understand how to escape their demise. They trying to understand what's going on. But all they seeing is what Yahweh Ba Shinel Shah got prepared for us. You see all them billions. Scriptures say he stretched out the heavens like a curtain. It's endless. It's endless, bro. Time and space. It's endless, bro. 
It's endless. There's no end to the heavens. There's no end to time. You see? We're going to exist forever, bro. Forever. I mean, there's no number on forever. That's how long we're going to live. We're going to be immortal. Literally, bro. Our children are going to be immortal. We're going to have planets, galaxies. You know, we're going to visit brothers' galaxies. Man, brother, this is going to be amazing, man. I mean, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, but I'm more so thinking, thinking it. it. Yeah, I'm thinking you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is going to be beautiful, but that's what he saw sees, but only with his eyes. Only with that telescope, you're going to be able to see it, my man. You heard? Just like the Ammonite, too. You know the Ammonite that tried to put the first Israel? Right. Oh, you're talking about in, in uh, Judith? Not in Judith, I'm sorry. It was in, uh, oh, oh, you're talking about uh, Balak. Balak, Balak, yeah, yeah, yeah. Balak. Yeah, he, uh, Balaam, Balaam. Balaam, I'm sorry. He tried, to, um, he tried to curse Israel. Yeah. And then, uh, I think. Nah, he can't curse Israel. Yeah. Then he got the vision. Yeah. It's like, damn, what's up? That's what exactly. Esau, Esau seen. Yep. Esau probably seen us coming down from the chariots, you know. There's, a, there's the parable with Lazarus, man. Huh? Yep. You know, um, the, the dead Edomites up in the heavens. Wish they could tell their brothers on, on earth. Wish they could tell their fellow brothers on earth. Listen, those are the children of Israel. But we're here to tell you that. Like I said, they have Moses and the prophets. But we're here to tell you that, man. Let, 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 hear out, hear this. Moses and the prophets. They're the prophets. No? Because if they came now, you wouldn't believe them anyway. <laughs> so you just got to wait out your judgment and let it happen. That's it. But go ahead, bro. We'll finish that up and then yeah. move on. It says, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come right. upon thee. Let them stand up and save thee. Let them, let them save you. Let them stand up and save you. Let them right. prevent it. Okay. What can they do to prevent it? They can't do nothing. That's actually sarcasm. All right? The Lord just used sarcasm and you ain't even know. <laughs> you know, let them save you. What, what, what are they going to do for you? They're not going to do nothing. The most they can do is just give you the God honest truth. Like, yo, there's no end to our destruction. We're going to die. It's inevitable. There's nothing we can do to escape this judgment. Because it's already ordained, just like how Babylon, ancient Babylon's destruction came in one, one day, one night, and it was written. Esau even said he saw those, those um, techie techie, yeah. you know, that, that, that slogan, yeah. writing on the wall. He's seen that when they was playing with that particle accelerator, bro. See, there's a lot of shit going on in the dark that's not out in the open just yet. But the Lord reveals it in due time. Esau's really on to, oh, on some devious shit right. you know yeah. some real devious shit that the masses don't know about and you do have whistleblowers that do blow the whistle and some things are so like they said the truth is stranger than fiction right some things that when the whistleblowers come out and they they talk about it it's so far fetched that even if they told it people wouldn't believe them yeah. you know what i'm saying and that's when you got the scriptures to filter it with truth and we know this devil is capable of the most bizarre shit so i'm putting up past this devil I yeah. Think I was watching some slot here. I don't know if I put it in the chat. But how the last card, this dude got, this agent got the detail how the last card is the UFO invasion. And what they're going to do is they use Project Blue Beam for the real, it's going to poke the real crafts. And it literally going to be blowing up buildings to force people to take the chip. To scare people into taking the chip. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 9-11. Yep. They yep. did the same shit during 9-11, yep. bro. So, I mean, and then they scare people into. Into the, the, well, the Patriot Act too was established, but it scared American citizens into obeying the government. Everybody became a T-word during that time. You know, that was one of the main things that that was a propaganda, war propaganda, pretty much, to allow these devils to continue that war with Iraq. You know, and they're gonna do the same thing, bro, because we in the midst of World War Three, so they are gonna bring more propaganda. You know, more false flag attacks. Psyop, psychological operation. Where C19 was a psychological operation, bro. Alright, that was a psychological operation. It's a psychologically scared people into taking that juice. So, so they won. They, 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 they. These niggas lost. And and anybody that's that's in that knows the truth now, that got it, hey, just pray like all pray for mercy. I can't tell you what I can't tell you what you know. No, I can't tell you nothing, bro. All I can say is that because one brother said that. You know, he didn't know better, but now you know the truth and he took the juice. Hey, pray to you how about Shemel Shah, bro? That's all I can say to you. 
Ain't nothing, I can't save you. I, my words can't save you, bro. No, none of us can say it's okay, brother. You're gonna be all right. You will be saved. Now, now, now it's between you and the Lord. Point blank, period. Pray that the Lord have mercy. And that's anybody that got the Jews. All right? Because all that is, is you allow Esau to penetrate you with something that's going to kill you. All right? Now, the main thing is taking that seed. Once you get that, ain't no repentance. It's over for you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, back to the main point. That was the psyops. So, get it with the precepts. Yeah, in October 4th, too. You know what I mean? When they're going to be playing with them signals. I hope they do something. For real. I really hope they do something. I hope they let off them pulsations and let them people water balloons burst. You know, let, let, let it slow leak. <laughs> you know? Get them a slow leak and then let all hell break loose, bro. Right there. Hey, 2024 is going to be a crazy fucking year, bro. I can't see it not being a crazy year. I cannot see it not being a crazy year. I can't. Election year, for, uh, all right, you got election year, you got the dollar. These nations are moving away from the dollar this year. So by next year, they're going to have their own currency in full in full motion. You know, more sick people, more dead people. 2024 will be a hell of a year. 2024, Lord willing, could be Jacob's trouble, bro. You know, and then after Jacob's trouble, what's next? World War Three and salvation. You know, check. World War Three is salvation. So from September 7th to now, we've seen major harm. Lord, we made the judgment to Hong Kong. September 7th, major floods. We've seen floods that they ain't seen in the century. We've seen Libya. We've seen Morocco. So these are these are events of biblical proportions. So everything you brothers are bringing out now, you add on these biblical events, man. What's happening? 5,000 at a time. We're giving them a rock to Bolivia, possibly 20,000 dead. And so this is biblical proportions, man. Yeah. That's right. Hawaii, that was, that was, that was. And then some going on in Turkey and Greece, right? I'm not For a minute, man. Hey, brace yourselves, Please. brothers, you know what I mean? You few sisters out there. Brace yourself mentally, man, because this shit is going the fuck down, bro. No ifs, ands, or buts, bro. We we see it because it only makes sense. The way things are happening, it only makes sense that 2024 is going to be a hell of a year, bro. I'll be surprised if it's a calm year. I'll be so fucking surprised, bro. I ain't going to hold you. I'll be surprised like a motherfucker. But um, who got the precept? You want to say something? Yeah, I want to bring out Jeremiah 30 and 7. Yeah. And NET. NET? NET. Yeah. That's New English? English translation. Scholars use it. It's the Jeremiah 30. I'll be surprised if it ain't, bro. If it ain't a yeah, it's right. bugged out year. Inflation. Famine, you know the, the the crash of the dollar. No, yeah, mass, hey, the mass immigrants here. A lot of them is probably UN troops, bro. That make a lot of sense. A lot of them UN troops in disguise, planted. You got what you got? Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter thirty verse. I started four in the NET. It says, "So here is what the Lord Yahweh, Bashemi Hashai, has to say on Israel and Judah." Verse 5. Yes, here is what he says. You're, you hear cries of panic and of terror. Mm. There is no peace in sight. Mm. Ask yourselves this and consider it carefully. Have you ever seen a man give birth to a baby? Mm. Why then do I see all these strong men? Woo. Strong men. <laughs> strong men. Yep. Rabbling their stomachs in pain like a woman giving birth. See that? Hey, we always break it down. All they, all they do is break it down in different words. You know, all the pain. Read that again and nice and slowly, my brother. Right. Yeah. Right. Again, Emphasize is, that and, and narrate that. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, <laughs> verse 6 in the NET. Yeah. Ask yourselves this. Get that off. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. And consider it carefully. Consider this right here, man. Good. Have you ever seen a man give birth to a baby? No. 
You ain't gonna see a man giving birth to a baby, but you see women out on them tables. Yeah. Why, why then? Why see all these strong men grabbling their stomachs? Right, all these able-bodied men out here, these burly bur ass dudes who like to eat and whatever, even the mightiest, the jail niggas, everybody, because jail niggas gonna be out in the street. You saw gonna lose them, put them on early release with a chicken egg game on, you know? But they gonna be in society and cause havoc. Part of that jig of trouble is gonna be these inmates being loose. Yeah. On early release. Yeah? In pain. <laughs> in pain, yeah. Like a woman <coughs> giving birth. Yeah, like a woman giving birth. You know, she get them contraction. A water break. Looking at the floor, the water butts. Holding her stomach. I think I'm about to give birth. Now the contractions start coming. You know, the pain. The pain is very intense. You know? But that's how men are gonna be out here. You know, like in a fetal, like like walking like this, like you know, stomach cramping, you know? You know, like they're hungry, they're starving. Agony, pain, languishing, bro. Yeah, bro. And why do their faces turn so deathly pale? And why do their faces turn so pale, bro? You know, that, that, that astonishment is going to cover them. That sickness, that hunger. You know, it's going to be a look. Uh, yo, matter of fact, a brother has sent the picture, right? Show you how fast people face change. See, the, the, um, your countenance is everything. Yeah. Your countenance can tell whether you're wicked, righteous, you, if you're wicked, you got you wise, if you're a damn homo. Yeah. If um, if you've been through some shit, yeah. your countenance can tell you all that. Brother that sent the, uh, a picture with a World War II dude that was like 15, something like that, when he went to war. He came back at 20. Mm -hmm. The dude face went from looking like a boy to five years later, it was chiseled and stressed out. Like it looked like it was chiseled in stone. You know what I mean? All the, you see what I'm talking about? It, just, it looked like a hard face, like a rock. Like a, like a flint. He was transformed. Totally, bro. You seen terror on his face, bro. If I had to describe it, the man's face looked like he's seen terror. So overnight, people's countenance is going to change. And you're going to see it. They, like the brother says, called uh, shell shock. Their countenance is going to change. That pain, that paleness, that disparity, it's going to actually, you're going to see it. But brothers, you see, that's why scriptures talk about brothers going to be like, um, fine goal, yeah. hide in place in the wind. We're going to look like this. We're going to look better than this, bro. We're going to look better than this. But even when we was to look like this versus the people, what they going to look like, we will still be shining right now. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to go like this. They going to be down here and we going to be up there. You see? So it's gonna, ain't going to be no mystery. Like, who are these prophets? Where are these props? Brothers gonna look. You you one of those props. I can tell. You know? You one of those props. I can think about like, I know you a prop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? That's that's just what it's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to tell. Yeah, doc. Yep. Unless what a terrible time of trouble it is. Yeah, man. Terrible. Yeah. There's never been any like it. And there's never been any like it. What is Jeremiah prophesying about, bro? What is he prophesying about? Where in history did it say, all right, this happened, and then it gave you a precept to Jeremiah 30 and 7, saying, showing you that it happened already. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't happy yet. There's no link of scripture or, or, or precept scripture to say that all right, this already happened. I'm talking about after Jeremiah, like in the New Testament or, 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 or whatnot. It ain't happy yet, bro. bro. But it's going to be written in the, in the kingdom. Jacob's trouble. It's about to happen. And then we're going to refer back to Jeremiah 30 and 7. It is a time of trouble for the descendants of Jacob. For the descendants of Jacob. Why? Because, for one, it's to punish Israel, man. But it's going to be, I know it's going to say the last part that I want. But it's to punish Israel. It's to, did not the Lord do the same thing when we had to wander that wilderness for 40 years? Who died out? The older generation. And then the youth. The children went into the promised land. So there's gonna be another purge-like event. It's gonna call it's gonna be called Jacob's Trouble. I brought out the precept the other day in the um, last video I did. <coughs> I think it was um I gotta go back to my bookmark. Ezekiel 37 uh what is it, 17 or something like that? I believe it was Ezekiel 17. We don't know, bro. There has never been any like it. It is a time of trouble for the descendants of Jacob, but some of them 
and they rest you out of it. But some. Now, when you read the um, KJV, it tells you that that some is the he. It says the he, but he shall be saved out of it. The he is the elect. Only the elect is going to be saved out of it. Right? All right? Because they're not all Israel, which are of Israel. But he shall be saved out of it. Read that last part again, Art. Yep. It's Jeremiah 18. Somebody can get that real quick. It says 18 and um 20, uh, 18 and 19. It says, but some of them will be rescued out of it when the time for them to be rescued comes. Alright, so hold on now. Who got rescued out of 70 AD? Who got rescued out of 70 AD? Those that listen to Yahweh God. Well, those that listen to Yahweh they fled. They fled. They fled. That they that out you know that was more of a warning to flee, exactly. not more so of a rescue rescue. Because exactly. who's rescue. gonna rescue us? Exactly. Yahweh Shah. Exactly. Rescues to deliver. Yeah. I'm a rescue. I'm a save you. I'm a deliver you. Nope. But yes, you're right in a way. Like the Lord warned us to get out of die. Yes. and those who took heed did save their own soul, so to speak. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But to be rescued to take out of that, that ain't happy. Yet. Yeah. You know? Because we still got our land parted. Yeah. You know, we still had to wander, be scattered. Go into um, another man's land, a land that we didn't know. Uh, the, 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 like um, Revelation saying, a land that was prepared for us. You know, the earth helped the woman. That did happen, but the ultimate rescue is when Yahweh Shah come back. That's what. That, that's why. Salakia. That's why this destruction got to be great. Why it gotta be great? So that the Lord's deliverance could be even more greater. That's why it's gotta be the worst. So that the Lord can show how powerful he truly was. And truly is. So it gotta be bad, bro. Because the Lord didn't show his power in the deliverance sense in 70 AD. He did it. So he gotta show his power now. It gotta be bad. It gotta be terrible. It gotta be the worst case scenario ever. Every elect member that's gonna make it got to have their own individual unique story to tell in the kingdom you know every last one of us Lord will be the hopeful elect got to have that miraculous deliverance how we were saved out of the craziest time ever known to mankind and who did it Yahweh Shah did it right that's the man that we serve that's the that's the power that we worship through his father through Yahweh 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 Shah Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shah so this got to be the worst time ever and it, it got to be the worst time ever because the worst piece of shit is ruling. Right. The basis of all men. The basis of all men. So it got to be the worst destruction ever. Esau didn't catch the worst destruction ever during 70 AD. During the Greeks. And during uh, the during, uh, Greeks, the Romans, or neither. Well, it's about to be the Americans. Or the Babylonian Americans. The Neo-Babylonians. All right? The so-called white man, the Caucasian man. This got to be the worst. Go ahead. All right. States, but some of them will be rescued out of it when the time for them to be rescued comes, says the Lord Yahweh of heaven's armies. I will rescue you from foreign subjection. I will deliver you I'll from, from what? From foreign subjection. Uh -huh, from foreign subjection. I will deliver you from captivity. Hold on, ain't the MOT be a foreign subjection? Yes, it is. Right? <laughs> MO, the MOTB is a foreign subje uh, subject. First of all, it's a foreign object that these people will get up under their skin. And secondly, it's coming from a stranger, a foreign man, a lawless man. All right? And thirdly, it's against the Most High. So, Revelation, the third chapter, I will keep you from the hour of temptation, right? So, during the time of Jacob's trouble, during the time of all hell breaking loose, the concentration camps, because they all here, bro. Hospitals are going to be camps. Yeah. Got a hospital right behind us. That's a perfect camp. You know, that's a perfect facility. You know? These are universities. Concentration camp, bro. The hell you think it is? Sports stadiums. Sports stadiums and all that. Schools. You know? Um, department stores. Malls, bro. Malls. All right, shopping malls. Those are all concentration camps waiting to be concentration camps. They don't need to build a concentration camp. They're, there's already building instructions here. They just got to remodel them shit. They call it something different. So we in that time. The laws, the legislations, the writings 
It's already written. But when this shit come down, he should already justify himself. What is that, Isaiah 29? Woe to them that prescribe unrighteousness. Isaiah 10 and 1 also. Yeah? Right. It says, I will deliver you from captivity. Foreigners will then no longer subjugate them, but they will be subject to the Lord. Right. Me and we ain't going to go into captivity no more. All right. These foreigners, these heathens, are not going to subjugate us under their laws no more. But they can be subject unto us versus uh, via Yahweh Ba Shimi Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Right. It says, but well, they will be subject up to the Lord Yahweh Ba Shimi Yahweh Shai, their power, uh -huh. and to the Davidic ruler whom I will raise up as king over them. Woo. So I. Who's going to be the earthly king? King David. David. Yeah. Right. So I, the Lord Yahweh. The throne of David. Yeah. So I, the Lord Yahweh. Bashimi Awashai tell you not to be afraid to descendants of Jacob, my servants. Hey, beautiful, bro. The Lord, I hey, guess somebody get judges, um, Joshua 1 and 9. Read that last part again. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on this. Say that one more time, bro. Yeah, while you were speaking about the deliverance, bus the bus is still right there on the corner. It says more ways to escape. More ways to escape. Yeah, Rain on the back of the bus. Bus number 9419. <laughs> and number one at the top. Yo, yeah, bro. One, one and nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wisdom, wisdom. I mean, it's wisdom. Yeah, wisdom is the principal thing. Yo, it's wisdom, then is um, understanding, then is knowledge. Three. Yeah. Yeah, one is wisdom. Yo. Yeah, bro, one and nine. Judges chapter one, verse nine. It says, and afterward, afterward, the children of Judah went down to fight against the No, um, Joshua, 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 Joshua. It's a lot, Joshua, one and nine. This is Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Yeah. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's like, read that again? Yeah. This is the book of Joshua chapter one. Verse 9, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Right, be strong and of a good courage, yeah. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. And don't be dismayed, huh? Don't be dismayed at what? At anything. At these heathens, their laws, their, their tongue. Alright, when they come down as that dragon, that serpent. Don't be dismayed, afraid, yeah. For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou go. Whithersoever you go. So if you're in the concentration camp, bro, what are you supposed to do? Think on the Lord. Think on Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Esau got you up there. Bro, the scriptures say this. Give me a little gas. Like on my chest area, I got to drink something hot. Probably got burp or some shit. <laughs> yeah, something bubbling or some shit. But, um... No, no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna step off in a second. A while ago, get some tea or something. But um, the Lord said when you get delivered up, don't think about what you're gonna say. Don't think about none of that. The Lord's gonna put in your spirit, in your mind, on what to say when that time comes. But we're not gonna fear because the Lord is gonna amplify our spirits, and furthermore, we believe. When, hey, bro, we we believe because here it is. We gonna think back on the time when he was like, "Yo, I actually said this was gonna happen on the streets." It's happening. I actually said on the streets that, yo, I, I may be in this position, you know, and here I am. The Lord said it's going to happen, so that means the part about deliverance got to happen, you know? So we ain't, we ain't afraid of this fucking devil, bro. So we think about every single situation, you know, I might have to go through a guilty, I might get tortured, because it's out of two. Might be the country, might be, have to be a big pilgrim, someone's going to be spiritual power. Either way, the Lord told every so we're not going to be dismayed. We're not even going to fear. The Lord going to put a special mighty spirit on us, man. That's going to, that's going to, that's going to fear on the devil. The fact that we have no fear, because what, what's the one thing that the devil has grasp on the people? Fear. Once they don't got fear no more, they don't have nothing. You saw, you saw God people, in, that's true, because you saw God people in fear through what? Through lies. But if we know the truth, how the hell can we be afraid? If Esau got these people gripped 
through fear because of his lies, but we broke through them lies and strongholds, and we know the truth that we have nothing to fear. We don't fear this man. We don't fear Esau either. You know? Matter of fact, we Esau step up like that. So the chumps jump up to get beat down. You saw a step up, he gonna get beat down. <laughs> we just gonna wait for our, for our power, Yahweh, to beat his ass down. Good. You know, the Lord got us, bro. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, they're poisoned by scarecrow spirit gas. No? He saw his ass as he saw the exact scarecrow. No? Because when he watched the movie Batman again, the scarecrow made some piece of his mouth. He made it more than a That's true. So, people are afraid because. They believe, like you told earlier, you said earlier, you saw the lies. That's what got him all messed up. Yeah. You, don't have to you got the fear of the Lord, which is good fear, right. and then you got just fear, which is, that's just another form of anxiety. Yeah. Fear, the unknown, fear in the unknown. People fear what they don't know. Yeah. Really, they fear the consequences. Yeah. Oh, I see, you know, you see a pit bull running down the street, you get scared because you don't know if it's going to attack you. Yeah. So that's like fear in the unknown. Or when Esau rolling and kicking your door, you're scared because you fear the unknown. Yep. If you just knew that he was going to kick in your door, you say hi and walk away, you're not going to be afraid. Yeah, you know, but it's the fear of the unknown, the, the anxiety. But you got the good fear, the healthy fear of Yahweh Shemi and then the fear of man, which is bullshit. Fuck the fear of man, fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh Shemi and what he can do, and what he is going to do, and what he will do. So That's what the song said. Uh -huh. Right? I will fear the Lord. I will not fear what man can do unto me. Right. right. Yeah. That's right, brother. The Lord loves that. The Lord's like, no, the Lord loves to do things. Don't fear nothing to fear. That's, that's faith, that's man. That's activating the Lord to do something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's faith. That's true faith. Yeah. yeah um, I'm getting me come on this bro. Oh yeah. Quick point about the fear of the unknown. So, <laughs> those principles are going to be applied when it comes to. Like the food, salmon, because there's a difference between, like when you fast, let's say you fast for 24 hours, 48 hours, you know you got a meal coming. Exactly. Right? So mentally, it's not as bad. Exactly. When you don't know, <laughs> exactly. Two, three days without eating, and you don't Jeez. know when your next meal's coming, that fear of the nose is going to make it a lot more worse. Oh, yeah. Mentally, it's oh, yeah. going to wear at you. It's going to break you immediately. It's going to break Not you or us, but it's going to break them immediately. You know, so that's that's a fact because you're that fearing the unknown. That's right. That is, that is torture. To yeah, yeah carnal mind. That, is, tor that torture. is torture to a carnal mind. But you see, that's how they gonna get people because yeah. once, once them um the food places get raided, and then the stores are empty, and then now everybody back in their home, right? right? It's chaos. Everybody, everything is looted. Right. Eventually, you gotta go home, right? Right. And if the TV still works. They let you know that no no trucks is coming in, everything is on lockdown, everything I have to stay on standstill for what is people gonna panic. Damn, I didn't I didn't what, what we gonna do? I didn't, I wasn't out there looting, I didn't get nothing, I didn't do this. We don't have no baby formula, we don't got no water, we don't got that. what we gonna do? You know what that's gonna do? Breed more chaos. It's gonna breed more chaos. You think these people really gonna sit and wait and wait for shit to open up? No, the military is gonna be up in here. Martial law is gonna be implemented, all right? And people gonna have to comply if they wanna receive goods. What are they gonna have to comply with? They're gonna have to be able to identify themselves. Nobody's gonna wanna see a state ID. You know, your, your, your gym membership with your face on it. They wanna see a chip. They gonna wanna see a, your digital tag. The only thing that can prove your security measure, your, your, you know, your, 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 your standards in society. Oh, you want this? Come with us. We gotta register you. Take you down, get registered, and then you could get your little oatmeal and milk. You know? Till then you just gotta stay home and starve. So people gonna break, bro. We're gonna break, <laughs> people are gonna break, man. Uh, what why they gonna break? Somebody get Isaiah 33 and 6. Uh, I was thinking about it. You know, that's what this is why this is why they gonna break. What's about Isaiah? Chapter 33. They're gonna break, man. They're gonna break. Shadow. They're gonna shadow. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. That says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So simple, ain't it? Sounds so simple, don't it? 
but it's, it sounds so simple, like the way it's so simple. But you know, watch how this script is going to speak volumes when she hit the fan. Watch. It sounds so simple, which it is. It's milk, but it's deep. Deep as in, you better deeply root that in your mind. Wisdom and knowledge. Right? Because real soon, this is going to speak volumes. Should you read that again? It's Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So the times that are coming, the times that are approaching, it says thy times. As, either, as individuals, everybody got to have their own lot. Everybody's going to have their own um, furnace, of, furnace of affliction, adversity, trials and tribulation that they got to go through. So wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy time, your time, as an individual. All right, stability means to be stable. So no matter how turbulent things get, how shaky, wisdom and knowledge will keep you unmovable. Not rock, to and fro, shaking in your mind like, damn, what if I'm not going to eat? Damn, what if the Lord forgot about me? You know? Damn, what about, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I, I'm not, I ain't got no electricity in a whole day or two. Food is looking scarce, my Lord. I don't know. That, that's not wisdom and knowledge. That's being shaky. See, a man that has wisdom and knowledge and understanding, he gonna be still and wait for the Lord to show his mercy, man. You know, the Lord knows everybody's breaking point. That's it. Experience the extraordinary. Hey, we about to experience the extraordinary, bro. You know? The buses is talking back to us. <laughs> you know, the spirit is speaking. <laughs> you know? So the Lord knows our, everybody's breaking points. And he's going to deliver you right before that, man. You know, you know, it's the thing, too, about getting broken. The Lord will break you and build you better, bro. We need, we all need to be broken. Why do we need to grow? Because we came into the truth as, as you know, we, we left this world as old vessels, right? The Lord had to renew us, shape us over again. Like that song, what's this lady name? I forget her name. She got a song, Don't Make Me Over, Now That I'm Yours, right? This is, this is a dope ass song. I don't even want to, I'm not going to sing it, but yeah, that song right there. Yep, that song right there. Yep. Huh? She probably redid it, but yeah, it's an old joint says don't make me over now that I'm your well hey we need to be made over we all got a full full makeover when we came to this truth yeah. Lord broke that, that old skirt that old man that old nigga that old bitch and renewed you you know so the Lord knows our breaking point is good to be broken and be rebuilt better Sybil. you know yeah Sybil thank you brother that's the name right there dope ass song you want something nice to listen to go listen to it <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah but yeah, man, see, these people are going to be broken, and they're going to be broken beyond repair. The Lord's going to really tap into their true faith. What makes them afraid? No, the terror. Yeah, that. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The strength of salvation, the strength of your deliverance. Well, how are you going to be delivered? What's going to be the strength of you even be having a chance of being delivered out of the situation? Wisdom and knowledge. You know? So the more wisdom and knowledge you got, your strength level of deliverance is going to be even higher. You know, like the radar, the meter, like it's on yellow over here and then it goes to red, you know, all the way on um, maximum on high. Well, this is where you want your wisdom and knowledge and your faith to be at. All the way on max. You want it to max out. You know, you want you don't want the needle to be twit twitching back and forth between weak signal and strong signal. You want to be on max, bro. We want to be on max. Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> this shit getting ready to go down. Yeah, bro. It says the fear of your house by Shub Yahweh Shah is his treasure. Fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Fear what he can do. Fear what he's going to do. All right. Everybody in this troop should have a Healthy fear of your how about Shem Yahushua. Fear the Lord. Be afraid to trespass against him. Be afraid to gamble with the Lord, bro. You got Jake out here gambling with the Lord. Like they just say they are some it is what it is. Fuck it. Type of shit. That's their attitude towards the truth and towards the Lord. You know? That's what it's written. 
Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. That's tempting him right there. Rolling the dice with the Lord. All right, keep playing. Keep playing. You ain't going to be on four, five, six all the time. You know what yeah, bro? I agree, Job. Bro, yeah, and then you got something, right? Bro? Yeah, I got something. Yeah. Job to the 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom. Mm. And to depart from evil is understanding. Beautiful, bro. Fear the Lord is wisdom, and to depart, depart from evil is understanding. You know, knowing what's right from wrong. Now you know. Now you know. Oh, I shouldn't do this. Let me do that. That's understanding. But it comes from fearing the Lord first of all. What makes you not want to do it is the fear of the Lord. Because the Lord, you what's the what's the wage of sin? Yeah. Death. The fear that the Lord can kill you it should scare you. Matter of fact, the fear that the Lord can kill your body and soul in hell, right? Meaning the Lord can do what he wants to do with your spirit. He can kill you right here and then bring you back in another life and bring you back as a cripple with, with, with um, Down syndrome in a wheelchair, paralyzed, you know? Can't talk and eat. That's hell. And then you got to go to school and then your parents don't care about you. That's double hell. You know? Emails, you can't do nothing. Can't do nothing, bro. Hey. bro. Can't do nothing. Bro. That's hell. That's your body in hell. You gotta go to school still. Kids teasing you. Man, and then you don't die until you're like 80. Wow. <laughs> that's double. That's crazy hell right there, bro. You somehow lived to 80 years old, 80 plus. You would have wish you was dead at three or something. Try to take your life, but you just couldn't. That's that's fair in the Lord, man. He could do that to you in another lifetime. See, Esau is gonna come back all jacked up in the next lifetime, man. Cause that, yo, cause we gonna have them in slavery, and they gonna come out all types of fucked up. They come out crippled, and they still gonna have to work. They ain't gonna be no social security, <laughs> no handicap, nothing, no handicap workers section for the handicap work. Everybody gonna have to work, man. Equal opportunity. <laughs> Esau talk about equal opportunity. All right, the scripture say gonna be continual. That's, that's a damn lie anyway when they talk about equal opportunity. Esau is a liar, my man. Yeah, He's yeah, a yeah, fucking liar. Yeah. So this whole system was based off of what? White supremacy. Right. White supremacy, man. Have you forgotten? Huh? It's based off of what color, you know, so-called white man is such a goddamn fool, but he he predicated this whole system off of the color of your skin, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And who you, who you, who you, who you what you look like. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta do what you need to do. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Gotta do what you need to do. Yeah, that's what you're doing. 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 Yeah, that's what you they got seeds, how they can't handle their seeds now. Yelling, screaming, and, and they're going crazy. Imagine, and I got to shoot to get for that. So it says Luke 21 and 23. It says, but well, woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For so there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon his people. Yeah, man, so it's going to make it that much worse for those, for those folks. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the Lord with them. Kids don't be bugging out that bunch of is hungry in the crib. You know what I'm saying? I, again, I know how it is now. You're just bugging out. Just, right? Just imagine, man, two or three days. You even take them to fill it. Because they're going to be bugging out. That's right, brother. Bring it out. This is um, Jeremiah 15. Let me get this. Let me get this. Jeremiah 15 and 2. And that shall come to pass if they say unto thee, 
Whither shall we go forth? Then shall thou tell him, Thus saith Yahweh by Shimei Shai, such as for death to death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. You go down a little bit. This is verse 8. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly and terrors upon the city. She that hath borne seven languishes. She that hath given up the ghost. Her son is gone down while it was yet day. She hath been ashamed and confounded. And the residue of them will I deliver to the sword before the enemy said the Lord. Now, let's read that. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 2. And if they ask you, where should we go? Tell them the Lord Yahweh. Masha Miyawusha says this. Those who are destined to die of disease will go to death by defeat. Those who are destined to die in war will go to death in war. Those who are destined to die of starvation will go to death by starvation. Those who are destined to go into exile will go into exile. I will punish them in four different ways. I will have war kill them. I will have dogs drag off their dead bodies. Yeah. I will have birds and wild beasts devour and destroy their corpses. I will make all the people in all the kingdoms of the world horrified at what has happened to them because of what Hezekiah, going into secular history, but it's going to happen again. Yeah. Son of Manasseh, king of Judah, did it. So, two-thirds of the nation of Israel That's are it. destined to die through grievous ways, through disease, through war, through starvation, and through exile. And if they just so happen to come across a prophet in the evils, if the word evil means bad time, evil means time and ill means bad, the Lord commanded us to say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, such as of death to death, such as of the sword to the sword, such as of the famine to the famine, and such as of the captivity to the captivity. So their destiny is sealed. Their destiny is death by pain because of their rebellion, because they're backsliding. And the word backsliding in the Hebrew is Shawabab. Shawabab. Which means idolatry. So they're going to die because of their idolatry. Their hard headedness, their stiff neckedness. Okay? And you can jump now. Um, Jeremiah. Yes, 16. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 4. They shall die of grievous, grievous death. Right, they shall die of grievous death. Or grievous. So they're going to die not just in any kind of fashion, right. but in grievous ways, in a grievous fashion. Because the Lord is going to appoint them to the sword, to the famine, to wild beasts of the earth and fowls of the heaven, and to exile. That is concentration camps, exile camps. In other words, go ahead. Da, 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 la, yum. Da, 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 la, hali, da, da, ha, la, yum. Da, ha, la, hali, ayam, da, ha, ayam. Da, ha, ayam. That says diseases. Hold on. Diseases. 
Yeah, that makes that makes total sense, bro. It makes total sense. Because what? What you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans have been used to all your lives is being rebellious against the Most High. And what has happened to you? You you develop diseases, mental diseases, physical diseases. It makes sense. And now look look at the, look at the state of our people, bro. Brother brought out last week. The state of our people is is fucking pitiful, bro. The state that we're in as a nation is fucking ridiculous, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 jakes out here that refuse to repent and refuse to turn away from your idolatry. You refuse to stop doing wickedness. Diseases is going to be your reward. And then you're not the lawyer is going to put you to death. He's going to torment you in those diseases, man. And you are being tormented because you have a disease already. And that's rebellion against the Most High. That's the main disease that our people got. And, and disease means to be not at ease. You're not at ease because you're doing everything outside of what you're supposed to do. As an Israelite. Y'all got it, bro? Yeah, All right, so that's the new word again. It's Thaka Lion. Not the lion. That's right, that's it. Uh, it means diseases. Right now, go to the bottom. And we're gonna go to the um the lexicon and it says those who are sick with famine, they shall die of diseases. So they're gonna die of grievous death. That's a grievous death, bro. To be sick, disease. Diseases. Disease means to be not at like, ease. Not at ease. That's right, brother. Because <laughs> like you, know, you know, like I was just saying through the spirit, first of all, our people are not at ease in their own mind. See, the most high curse two thirds of our people. We got to understand that. Right? The most high curse two thirds of our people, man. That's why they do what they do. That's why they seek a different result for doing the same exact wickedness over and over again constructive no constructive results brother it shows mental the same thing over and over again it shows that you're it shows insane. what you have a mental it's sickness insane. it shows that what your spirit is pretty much rejected from the most high because you're not the most high didn't give you the ability to acknowledge it's like us the water you by shim the lord gave us the ability to acknowledge our offense acknowledge our sins Right or wrong, brother. Right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. To actually feel sorry for that, don't to that. actually feel sorry for it, brother. You know what I'm saying? So that's that right there in itself is is, is giving us uh, an insight on what we're what, what we're dealing with, what we're a part of, bro. Because the Lord said that they're gonna be diseased, grievous diseases. And look, bro, it stands as reality that our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you 12 tribes, you are diseased. You have been diseased. From your what? From your, from your rebellion, man. So it's nothing that you didn't deserve. Right or wrong? It's nothing that our people didn't deserve, that our people don't deserve, man. You see? So it's no wonder that you're a damn Egyptologist. You're a, you're a, you're a, you're an avid, <laughs> you're an avid, hardcore, Jesus Christ loving Christian. It's no surprise that you're a damn Muslim. It's no, a no damn surprise that you're trying to follow Hinduism and monk, being a monk, Buddhism. It's no surprise. Yeah, the same thing other hey, brother, speaking, brother, that's the thing. It goes, it goes, it, it's very, it's very simple. It's fundamental from what you eat to what you do. You so-called blacks, like Tuesday Native Americans, you don't want to follow the guidelines and the laws and the, and the commandments that were given to our forefathers, man. You don't want to do it. You just don't want to do it. As a matter of fact, 
You know what I'm saying? You 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 despise correction, man. Tell a tell a Jake, yo, stop worshiping a goddamn stone, man. Yo, stop what? Stop worshiping a goddamn so-called white man and what you know to be God and his son to be what you know to be Jesus Christ. Stop worshiping that shit. That's not that's not right with the Heavenly Father. Look at the conditions that you have been put under worshiping these guys. You, here you are. You're in the you're, you're in America worshiping a damn uh, a religion. And your 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 conditions are still the same. You still gotta go to this so-called white man for the world of all things. But you worshiping God and Jesus Christ though, right? That looks like him. That looks like your oppressor. That's crazy, bro. See? We're sick. The whole head is sick. Hey, and then you're more concerned with the religion than the actual identity. That's right, my brother. That's right, my brother. Wow. Right, wow. Wow. They don't care really who they are. It's all about who they God is, right? That's right, so, bro. So they, they, they're lost. They, they're done from the rip. Yeah. I got precept. Please, bring it out, my brother. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had slacken. It says, and they that have loathed my law. And they that have loathed my law. To loathe the law. A deep, deep hatred, deep hatred. Right? This is what two thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have against the Heavenly Father and His Son. They loathe His law, the law, the dietary law, first and foremost, the moral law, the civil law, the ceremonial law. Which the ceremonial law was done away with this law of sacrifice. So the Lord only requires you to keep the dietary law and the moral law and the civil law. The ceremonial law has been done away with uh, alongside of the, uh, the, the law of sacrifice. So we don't even got to keep the law, of, the ceremonial law, because what? We don't got our own land. We're not sovereign. Why are you not sovereign, Israel? Why are you not sovereign, Jake? You ever think about that? Why you are? Why aren't you sovereign? Yeah, you sovereign. Hmm? We was kings. Well, now you goddamn slaves. Why? Why? Ask the question. Why? All right. You see. There's a thing that I learned from Neely Fuller Jr. that the the the, um, the 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 process to all answers. All right, how does it go, man? Damn, it's it's escaping me right now. All right, there's a formula. All right, there's a formula that the uh, the, the, the the process of gaining uh, understanding is through questions and answers. You gotta ask questions, man. You gotta ask questions, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, why are you in damn poverty? Why, when, when, when this was the land of your ancestors, are you subjected to goddamn poverty? Why? But our people don't ask questions, man. Right. Not only that, but they intellectually lazy. They don't look things up. They expect you to just give them all the answers without putting in any effort to make things, you know, look things up. Take the initiative to look things up. Verify things, fact check it. You know? Don't just rely on just, you know what, I'm going I'm to remember pretty much everything. No. Sometimes we forget. But, Second Ezra. Read on. Yep. Uh, second Ezra is not, uh, second Ezra is not 11. They that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, despised it. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. 
Yeah, that's, that, that's exactly what's going to happen. Two thirds of our people, they despise, they despise the prophets. They despise the word of the Lord. They despise the lost statutes and commandments. So when the trouble comes, they're going to have to know about pain, man. They're going to have to get right by pain, but like that. That's how they're going to get right by pain, man. All right? And when you see the men of the Lord, the elect, the men, women, and children being delivered, okay? They gonna know, okay, that they went off, man. Because when they come, you know, like I said, when they come to the men of the Lord for um, questions, they gonna tell them, listen, some of y'all gonna die, die famous, some of y'all gonna die this, some of y'all gonna die this way. And I gotta have no help for you, man. That's heavy. Because the like, key point that stuck out was that they understood not. The fear of the Lord was beginning of knowledge. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding, including the bar for me. So they understood not, but rather they despise it because there was no light in them. They lacked the fear, the knowledge of Yahweh, Bashmi Yahushai, because they're ignorant to his terror. And knowing they're for the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But men despise it because they don't understand it because it was not given to them. That's the spirit. First of all, get Romans 11, 7, 7. Get Romans 11, 7, then you get to that one. They were blinded to it. That's the, that's the spirit. See? So that's, that, that was, yeah, I was about to bring it out. Because the Lord blinded two thirds of our people, man, because the Lord doesn't want it. That's why they're going to die these horrible deaths, man, because y'all rejected the house, y'all. Y'all was the same ones that was in the wilderness that was became of jealous. Y'all the same ones that was rejected the house, y'all. Y'all the same ones that the prophets of death, the same spirit of the back, man, to get the ultimate judgment. Yeah, but, and King David even placed the curses. Yep. King David said, let their table be made a snare. Yep. So, so, in, so, right. in other words, let the things that they study, yep. let the things that they eat on their table be a snare and a gin and a trap. Hey, yeah. Yep. Sorry, my brother. Them niggas in the wilderness unto the generations after, which they came through the same generations, they were in the spirit, these, these wicked, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, yeah. they were in the spirit of Janice and Jambres, yeah, yeah. Uh, Corey, Dathan, yeah, Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right? You know what I'm saying? These rebellious Israelites that came back in their gener generations. These were the niggas from the wilderness. Yeah. Janice and Jambri, Dathan Corey Abram. And that was just a few that the Lord, you know, had written. So you know there had to be some good descendants. Yeah. You know there was more than just them. Yeah, yeah. Right? right. Maybe we have to pick a side and listen to them. Oh, yeah, I don't want to be wicked. Go over here. Oh, yeah, I want to follow the Lord. We're going to do it like this, man. And we slaughtered two thirds of them. We slaughtered the ones that wanted to be with them. That's gonna happen again, man. And now they're back here, they're back here again. Yeah. So we get ready, listen, a great slaughter is getting ready to happen upon two thirds of our people. Lord says he's with the house of Jacob first. Remember, this is Jacob's trouble. The Lord's right, coming, the Lord, the Lord is coming to work Jacob's ass down. Right. Fools, man. Right, when we watch our people, it's an embarrassment, man. When, if we're embarrassed to you, how much more the Lord, bro? Right. We're supposed to be the ex excellency of the Lord. We're supposed to be the excellency of the Lord, the, 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 the sovereigns, man. But look, we become degenerate. That's right, brother. Yeah. Degenerate, man. A spoiled, a spoiled, a spoiled olive tree, man. That's why the Lord only wants a cluster. Yeah. Romans 11, verse 7. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that what you seeking for? Yeah, because look, here's the Lord trying to say, yeah, I got the truth, man. I got to help us. Yeah, I got this. I got yo. You need to do this, homie. Okay. I'm a Muslim, man. I studied yeah. all different types of books, man. Yeah, right. You can't just study the Bible. Ah. Never learning. Never, ever, never yeah. able to come to the truth. Yeah. Never. You know what I'm You got, you got, you got. I'm talking about every single thing that you run into. Always, think, always think they got the fucking answer. Yeah. Yet yeah, they yeah. still, yet they still. Yet, yet you still, you don't yeah, know, yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. shit. Yeah, you still in your damn condition. Still, still in your condition. Who are you? Oh, oh, I'm African. I'm black. I'm West Indian. All right, so you're lost. Yeah, so, uh, Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. Yeah. What then? 
Israel have not attained that which he's seeking for. Because Jake is seeking for some type of truth. Okay? In the form of many books, but there's, only, but there's only one truth, man. The fact is you've rejected the one truth. They said the Lord put you in a strong to do that. Yeah, so it says they grow in the day. They grow in the day. What are you growing for? Because you're searching for something. So you're groping. You're looking for something in the dirt. Because it's not just like not to a church, you hit the field is the world. In order for you to find a church, you have to have a shovel and you gotta dig it out of the earth. You know, you gotta find this church, man. Excuse me, and I can exact. Okay? So they're broken to find the truth. But they can't find it. Ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Because all the tables which they eat from are full of vomit. The vomit represents all these different philosophies that they indulge in. See, that's why the elect of virgins, man. Yeah, and when you break it down, it doesn't mean that we're little, that they were literal virgins, right. but they were virgins spiritually. What does that mean? Spiritual virgins. They were yeah. they, they weren't in, they weren't touched in touch with this by other philosophy. The other philosophies and other religions. Because you know yeah. when you take part in that, you defile yourself. Defile yourself. Your mind becomes defiled. Exactly. Your mind becomes defiled exactly. right. mind becomes defile because why? The source of other religions and ideologies is idolatry. Worshiping other gods, yep. point blank period. The source of any, anything going outside of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is idolatry, man. Right? Everything outside of that, that's how you become defiled. That's how you become unclean. So, speaking about the virgins, they're not dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this wicked and adulterous generation, like your yeah, I call this, they ain't gonna deal with the physical aspect of being a virgin. All right, it's dealing with a spiritual aspect of being a virgin. Because although we're still in sinful flesh, we still worship the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. Because we're in chains of darkness, but we haven't given ourselves over to a damn idol. You see? Exactly. Yeah. Mind you, you know, it said that they were virgins and no guile was and in no their what? mouth. No guile. No guile. I mean, that what? We told no lies, man. We gave you 100% to allow us that to hold it to We didn't go off for that old little thing. Oh, you know what I think? Yo, I just yeah, got to exactly. piss me. Yeah, exactly. The Lord did with me with the morning apostles. Yeah. We're doing exactly what the Lord gave the apostles and we say the same thing. Yeah, the Lord might give us more, more insight. Go to the elders, apostle. What do you think about this? Uh, oh, oh, snap! Uh, yeah, yeah, spirit. What if it's going off? Go. You follow the Lord. The Lord gave us leaders, right? Shepherds, right? This is why there's no God in that mouth. We're not doing our own fucking thing, man. That's right, our language. Just, just like I said before last week, not everybody's um, generals and every. But the Lord needs so, most. Uh, most of the army is what soldiers. Bro. That's the blood of an army, man. The Lord appoints certain men to receive certain uh, more talents, man. That's nothing to be a comp that, that, that doesn't mean anything. It means the Lord put a, a, a higher spirit, a greater spirit on that on that man, and he has a more of a responsibility, man. Right. What you should do is start um, is praying for that person, and really don't want to be in that stand, stand man. All right, you want to be what the Lord, what the Lord gave you, the time the Lord gave you, and you want to thrive in that to the max. That's right, brother. Thrive what the Lord gave you to the max, and when right, you, and when you give to the Lord, Lord, I, I double what you give me. Lord say, you know what? Now you can handle all of this now. Now you can handle all of that. Now I'm gonna give you the what? The, the, the world, everything. Yeah, but the scripture says every man's gift, and every perfect gift according to his, according to his measurement, it comes from above. Yeah. And the man's gift may be proven. What? Where? Yahweh Shai's body, what the first ring, twelve chapter. That from the least to the greatest. Every man has his particular job in the body of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. After the grace of Yahweh. Doesn't it say the apostles and prophets? An apostle is higher than a prophet. Yeah, it says the I, I have avenged her for you. Rejoice the like it said the apostles, roughly perfect apostles and, and prophets. But rejoice. I've avenged her for you. Double. We're just still listening to people. Hopeful like it's not gonna it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna be in our doubt. The hopeful gonna be virgin, it's not gonna be no doubt in their mouth. They're gonna do exactly thus did the Lord. What's the spirit of Yahweh Shai right now? What's the spirit of Yahweh Shai said to be in? The spirit of prophecy. 
Like, that's the apostle of the heart. Say, yo, we should be prophesying, 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 prophesying. That's all we doing, bro. We're prophesying, man. Because things are about, because these things are getting ready to come to pass now. Jacob's trouble is getting ready to happen now. My deeds are getting ready to happen now. Four of these getting ready to happen now. So when all these things come to pass, they're going to know that what a prophet was among them, man. And they have no excuses, man. Hey, bro. For the vision is yet yeah. for an appointed time. time. Though it tarry, wait, wait for it. For it will not tarry, it will surely come. Hmm? You can't worry about building a nation at this point in time. What, bro? Building a nation. The Lord the ain't giving it. That, there's no purpose in that. The, proph the prophecies say that this place is going to be destroyed. Okay? But the fashion of this world passes away. So anything you're trying to create or build here, if you're not building up your spirit for this thing to end, you ain't building nothing. And the Lord knows if you really want to catch you destroyed in that way. The Lord knows the hearts of men. But go back and read Romans yeah. 11, 7, like that. Romans chapter 11, to verse 7. Uh -huh. What then? Israel have not obtained that which you're seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest are blind. So the rest of our people are blinded, man. The elect have, the elect have obtained the truth. What the elect have obtained? Yahweh, why? Yahweh shine, man. The Lord gave us them. The, the, the Lord, oh, the Lord opened, opened our minds to them, man. The Lord gave us this wisdom, not understanding to see these things, man, Lord, and Lord, to believe Lord, these things. Lord. And that's Lord. why we say the why the how about Shimei out shot. And we're not doing this for me, man. We're doing it. We do this in our own personal time. We thank the Lord for the for the wisdom, not understanding. We thank the Lord for the apostles. We thank the Lord right, um, for this truth, man. That's right, because we um because the Lord gave us diligent men that we can um that we can copy after. That's leading us to our side, bro. We don't have to we, we, we um the Lord leave us by ourselves. We got our brothers, we got we're all in one mind, man. We got the whole world against us, which is beautiful. Because we want the world against us. We want, we, we want, we want everybody to be against us. Why? Because everybody was against you. I was shot, man. Verse 8 says, go back, go back to that again. Uh, verse 11 and 7. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. What then? Israel have not attained that which he's seeking for, uh -huh. but the election have obtained it, uh -huh. and the rest were blind. Yeah, the election have obtained salvation. What's our salvation? To be gods. That's right. Immortals. That's right. Y'all people are gonna see real soon, That's man. Right. Y'all gonna see. Okay? The trace is about salvation. Get Isaiah 69. Isaiah chapter 6 and 9. It says, and he said, Go and tell this people, uh -huh. hear ye indeed, but understand not. That was an angel that was sent to, to, to our people, man. An angel was sent to two-thirds of our people to blind them, man. Don't you know that? That there's angels sent to two-thirds of our people to blind them, to have them not see their hair, to have them not see, to, have them to make their minds fat. There's an angel doing, doing that, man. And that angel waiting for them to wait for them to destroy these angels, man. Yeah. The, 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 the Lord gave an order for the angel to blind them, and then what? Put them to death after a while. Yeah, bro. It says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. So hear what? Hear the word, hear the truth of Yahweh while Yahweh shine. Be to be spiritual. But what it said? But it says, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. See the prophets of old. See that things are going on around the world. See the destruction of America. See that um who, who the devil is. But what? It says, but perceive not. But perceive it now. You don't know what the fuck is going on. You don't perceive it. You don't you, you don't have a clue. Uh -huh. It says Make the hearts of these people fat. When you go back to the word heart in the Hebrew, it's love, which means mind. So what is it? What happens when you're when you're fat? You become lazy. All right. That's right so when the mind is fat, it becomes what lazy. You can't read. You can't. You can't. Now all of a sudden, now you can't comprehend scriptures. Okay. You can't understand this book, man. That's right, bro. Yeah, bro. It says, and make their ears heavy uh -huh. and shut their eyes. Meaning what? Yahweh Shah said, if any man, man have an ear, let him hear. We all know every man have ears. Meaning that if you understand what I'm saying, understand this. They can't understand the words we're saying. We're speaking a different language. They don't understand the tune that we're singing. They don't understand the song. The Sinasam says, how can we live in a strange land? Um, I can sing the song how, of the how Lord. Sing, I sing the Lord in a strange sing land. We singing the song of the Lord in a strange land, man. In front of a strange people. 
front of a strange world. Uh-huh. It says, lest they see with their eyes uh-huh. and hear with their ears uh-huh. and understand with their heart uh-huh. and convert and be, and be healed. And be healed. And be healed. And be healed. Convert and be healed. So the Lord don't want two thirds of my people, man. And this is why we, that, that's another uh, faith booster for us to keep on going, man. Wow, Lord, you gave me the strength. You don't have to. Uh-huh. I still have the name of Yahweh Yahushua and believe in you. I still have that fire in me. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right, That's special, bro. We, and, we, and, we, and we own that, man. We right. don't, we don't take, you don't take, we don't take it for granted, right. Lord. Right, we love the fact that we got that fire. We love the fact that we believe that we're not ashamed of you. Like other men are ashamed of you, man. We all gonna be put to the test. And we're gonna pass valiantly, man. Yeah. Alright? We're gonna be above. We're not gonna be like the damn pants. Alright? We hate the damn devil's so-called white man. We're not ashamed of that. You know the R5 D tip is the mark of the beast. Yeah, the Solomon 5, yes. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Yeah. Shall the righteous man stand in great hope. Yeah, the righteous man is the prophets and the highest of Bowers that's prophesying for their life in the line. Those are the ones that stand in the boat. Go ahead, brother. It says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him. Who afflicted us? First and foremost, who afflicted us? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. That is these other nations, then that is our people, man. So everybody afflicted us, man. Okay, you got people making fun of us, talk, calling us snow dummies, fake, um, uh, fake, um, faith-based Israelites. Bums. Bums, the bum camp, the bum camp. We got Honestly, our Falsely accusing us of pedophilia and all this. Falsely accusing us of, 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 of pedophilia. All right. Got our own family members uh, looking down on us. Okay, because we didn't we didn't take up the the, the, the things this whack ass world. To hell with this world, man. All right. Okay, to hell with your stupid ass points. To hell with your fucking. To hell with this America Corona. All right. We get our daily bread from your how about shine, man. Right, right. Whatever and whatever the whatever blessing we're gonna give the Wadi how about shine, but guess what? Right, right. We're, we're prepared to lose it all. Right. We're prepared to lose it all. Right, brother, and gain and gain everything, man. Because we gonna gain your how about your how shine. That's that's all we want. Right, it made no count of his labor. Yeah, because these people make no count of our labors. We're here on another Saturday. Brother's been here for 20 years. 15, 20, pop in for 30 years, brother's been for 8 years, 7 years, whatever. Alright? Whatever, whatever time brother's been there, we're what? We're making, we're, we're laboring, bro. Because why? We're laboring just like apostles, just like apostles said, so we gotta work. What do you do? You gotta labor, you gotta work, man. Right. You can't go to the job and say, clock in and say, I'm not doing nothing. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get that, you're gonna get that ticket, that red ticket. Just fuck about it. That's why apostles said what he says, man. It's really the Lord putting the fire on your, under your ass, man. You can't have your hands in your fucking pockets and say you're a prophet. What does a prophet do? Prophesy. So, prophesy. That's what we're here right. to do, man. Every Saturday, Lord willing, we're going to be out here. We're going to be doing our videos. We're going to do, we're gonna do the will of the Lord until what? The Lord shuts our mouths, man. That's it, bro. By this devil making this move. Yeah, Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. What they going to Why are they going to be troubled with terrible fear? Our salvation? What does our salvation take, take hold of? We gonna, we gonna see, someone's gonna see spiritual power. And all you females, all you people, okay, all you heathens are gonna know who the true, the true, who the true sons of God are, man. Because we're gonna be proclaiming the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But then ultimately, we're gonna, we're gonna see that salvation with what? Yahweh Shai come with all the angels. And you people gonna see us being beamed up into what you people call UFOs, and we're gonna be changed right before your eyes, man. When they see it, they shall be troubled with uh, terrible fear uh -huh. and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, because nobody ever seen UFOs come right close and beam us up, man. All right? Nobody ever seen um, 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 uh, angels um, um, come down and, and, uh, and help brothers. Nobody ever seen any man have the power of Superman, Omni-Man, the hope. Okay? Okay? The law, um, the movie, the lawnmower man. Telepathically move things, man. Have a power of the elements. That's the strange of our salvation. Good, bro. So far beyond all that they look for. Yeah, because the Lord says, the Lord says, Fear not thou worm Jacob, for I am with thee. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Also, when the intent of those that what? 
one man shall take a thousand. No, but yeah, the Lord said, one man shall take a thousand. I, the Lord, um, will um, deliver you that day that I have promised you. What be proud of The Lord gave us that power, man. And it makes sense. Why? Because when you see what these devils are doing, the little technology and the toys the Lord gave them, it only makes sense but the combat that was built to power, man. It only makes sense. So we're going to what this says. The Lord says, Go, they that wait for me shall not be ashamed, man. We're not to be ashamed when they come to these things that we can come to the angels, man. Because why? We're going to call the name of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. We're going to show you what time it is, man. Right, bro. And they repenting and groaning, for angels shall spirit. Yeah, they were, they were repenting and groaning for the wickedness. They were repenting and groaning for what? This our salvation. Oh, my gosh. They became what we always wanted to be. God, the Lord. So beyond all that you look for, man. Because why? We're going to be just like Yahweh, Shah, man. We're going to see Yahweh Shai as he is. And Yahweh Shai is not meeting the devil as a man. That's why you're so scared, man. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back. We keep right. on saying that name, right. Yahweh Shai. These right. other kids might not want to say that name. But we're going to say that name, man. Right. That's right. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Right. That's our power. But we are, we're, not a, we're not ashamed of him, man. Right. All right? Yeah, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he who we had sometimes in derision. This was he. This was he who had sometimes derision. How do I, how do they have a sometimes derision? Taking out our videos. Okay, put um what they getting ready to do to us. All right. Um, being on the southern part of this, there, brother. Slavery. Slavery. All right. Uh, uh, um, 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 without sanctuary. What's that again? Um, Jim. Uh, what's that? Jim Pro? Oh yeah. The, uh, the Jim Pro era. Green what is it? Book. The, the green book. All right. Yeah, uh, this was he. He had sometimes a derision and a proverb of reproach. Proverb of reproach. It's like we're talking about, oh, why don't you get a job? What are you guys doing to Saturday? Why don't you leave your book? Why don't you go with your wife? Oh, these guys are crazy. Oh, you talk about the guy that holds the, hold the cardboard? Oh, you're a fool. I had somebody tell me that before. Oh, you told my thing. Oh, you hanging with those guys. Oh, you're a fool. Okay, because, yeah, I am a fool. Yeah. All right. I'm a fool for your Howard Shah. We're going to see all these people. I love it, though. All these people that talk shit. All that stuff is being recorded, man. What the fuck? I'd rather be I'd rather be a fool. I'd rather be a fool for your Howard Shah than be a fool for fucking devil. For the base of men. These fools accounted his life madness. See? And his end to be without honor. See, everybody calls us crazy. Everybody think our end is going to be our honor. Oh, these guys are crazy. You know those people laugh at us when we say we're going to be gods and mortals? They laughed at us, man. But they're going to see at the end of the day, man. They're going to see what, what the Lord promises. They're going to see what we're going to become. We're not just men out here, man. We're the sons of Yahweh. Sons of your um, little brothers Yahweh shot, man. We're Yashar Allah. He's a prince of the living power. All these moves, you people watch Kalel. All, um, all, all these Marvel, DC, we're, gonna, we're those X Men. We're the X Men, man. We're the ones that these devils are getting ready to prepare for. All right? How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? See? And his lot is among the saints. And his lot is among the saints. How's he part of that army? How's he being delivered? Okay? Yeah. Second Ezra is 2 and 1. Right? Because you gotta stand stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. You're not gonna be over here pussyfooting it. Like you if you believe, you gotta you, first of all, when you say that name, there's a you feel that power, bro. When you say the Lord's name is a fire, you feel the spirit is hot, bro. You say the Lord's name, you can do anything, bro. Try what you working out. But like that, yo, yo, the, the, word, the Lord put that in our DNA for a reason, bro. Second answer is two and forty-one. The number of thy children. Whom thou longest for is fulfilled. We yeah, the number of the children, the elect, 145,000 and the one third, which was predestined before the foundation of the world. Yeah, we seek the power of the Lord that thy people, which may have been called from the beginning, may be hollowed. Which, which, which is talking about the elect. They were, they were separated. They were hollowed before the foundation of the world. That's the, that was the 145,000, the one third that were given faith as a treasure. He says, I, Ezra, 
saw upon the Mount Zion a great people. Hold on, brother. Look, for you, because that's a treasure. That's that's a treasure. What? Scripture says, to store up your treasures in heaven, but a moth nor does go corrupt. God. Now the word thieves and breaking and steal. But nobody can take your faith, man. Nobody can take it. Nobody can take that. Esau can't take that. He's met. Esau doesn't have faith. That's what he's so jealous about. But our faith is gonna produce what? It's gonna produce reality. Look, faith is the substance of things and the evidence of things not seen. We know what's gonna happen, bro. Because why? Because we believe you have faith. That's something that you don't have, devil. And you can't take that away from us. Yeah, that's why well, that's, that's, like, that's why the Lord like the altar of treasure. That's hidden in the field, it's hidden. It's hidden in the field, yeah. the field of the world. Not everybody's gonna come across this treasure. Yeah. Yeah. And find it. Because it could be there in plain sight. It could be obvious, yeah. yet never elusive. So it's a gift that we've been truly given by Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai. Yeah. Why Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai that we have received this treasure? Faith is spiritual power, if you think about it. Faith is an ingredient to spiritual power. Yeah. Yahweh Shai was telling us that the whole time, man. Eh? You must believe, have faith, have faith, have faith. All right? He says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with song. The same thing so talking about in the, in the John the Revelation, see the Revelation 79. And that's talking about the elect, man. That's that great salvation that we that, 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 that see, the Lord, that we see. The Lord willing, all of my brothers, the apostles of my brothers here, brothers upon the four corners of the earth, are part of the church. That's us here that we're with us, man. We've seen that, man. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. That's your house, our Lord, the house, our man. And every time we read this, we envision this man, we literally see it. Uh -huh. It says, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. He said, he set crowns upon every one of the elect's head, man. Mm -hmm. This is what Ezra is seeing with the angel. And was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Yeah, because we was all worshiping Yahweh Shah. He was all crying to Yahweh. He was all just saying, fuck it to Yahweh Shah, fuck it to Yahweh Shah, bless me Yahweh Shah. We were exalted to Yahweh Shah, man. Because why you delivered us? You lived up to your name. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they. That have put off the mortal clothing. That put off the mortal clothing. Took this ruin out of my mind, man. This came from the Lord. The Lord said, come up out of my people. He came up out of this world. You don't give up. You don't care about nothing in this world, man. Yeah, they applied Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Yep. To arise ye in the park. That is an attribute. That is something that the elect did. You know what I'm saying? in real time, to actually arise in the park. You know what I'm saying? For this is not your rest, for it is greatly polluted, and it shall destroy you with a sword of destruction. He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. Put on the immortal, that's what we're for. Just like the brother said before, we just change the darkness. We're in this everlasting change of darkness, man. We're waiting for our Lord to come back to take us out of these chains. So we, we're, we're, we're waiting to take off this mortal clothing. Right. That's how we don't care about this world, man. We're going to be with each other forever. We all going to be with each other forever, right, bro. We've known each other forever. So we're waiting to be with our Lord. And this life, we know we know our Lord, bro. We know our Lord, bro. We know. All right? Good, yeah, bro. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 16. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from that Lord's head. Our Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Yah means Yahweh Shai, salvation, saving, deliverance. That's the only thing he's going to live up to that name, man. He's going to deliver what? He's going to deliver his elect. He's going to deliver, deliver us out of trouble, man. Right? We're going to be greatly exalted in Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we long to see him. We haven't seen him in so long. And we're going to be just so joyous and happy, man. That we're what? That the Lord, that we're with the Lord forever. Because once you, if we get delivered, that means that we was always the world. We was always up there. We was always that, man. That's what we're going to think about. That why we were written. I was written in the book of life. We were yeah. written in the book of life, man. Yeah. yeah. But with his right hand shall he cover them 
Yeah, what's that right hand? Right hand, rep right hand represents the Howard Shine, the angel on the right hand side, which is the strongest sign. Just like I right. said through the looking glass. We, all, we always do that, just like uh, Gabar said. Y'all need to come to us. Yeah, Y'all paying all this money. The guy did say, he said the right hand is stronger than the left hand. He mm. said that. The damn devil said it, man. So the Lord, God, the, the deceiving deceit is his. Yeah, it says for with his right hand, he us like it's like before with his right hand shall he cover them, or with his arm shall he protect them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what comes to mind, Psalm 91. So the Lord's gonna have, the Lord's gonna send the angels to protect us, man. The right hand, the angels gonna protect us. Someone's gonna see spiritual power, right? We're gonna use those names. We've been using those names, but those names, the whole world is gonna know once we proclaim those names, once the Lord gives us that power, whoever, whoever it is. Right, so with that, we're going to give all praise and honor to the Lord. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, honor to the apostles and elders who are in Millstone, who are the apostles and elders of Yashagala, peace and salutations of Bayaf, Dawadah, and how's the name of the way? Ababa Bo. Ababa Bo. Mawafla Bo.